Hmm. So all the little intricate things, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see her trying not to headbang when she's playing the harp. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if you've seen any of the guys from Apocalyptica, I mean, they play cellos and they all headbang, so... Yeah, that's true. I mean, I have seen Evanescence live, and they go off. They completely give it everything, so ugh, I can't wait. I hope they come to Australia. Amy, if you're listening, get your ass to Australia and come to Brisbane. Yes. <laughs> okay. I love the fact that we just assume that we're such high profile and everyone's listening. <laughs> well, you got to take a chance. I mean, you never know who's listening. Exactly. Okay, do you want the first story? Sure, why not? I was actually reading ahead. Hang on. <coughs> I was actually reading ahead, and uh, so I wouldn't get all, excuse me, tripped up. I accidentally shut my mic off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of need that bit. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I have my hand, because it, it's got a little device on the actual headset thing, where if I hold it, I can just flip the mic on and off. Ooh. Which is good for music. I can just flip it off when you're playing music. Flip it on when we're right talking. And instead of opening Skype, clicking this button, clicking the wrong thing, accidentally hanging up. Oh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this. Click. No. Um. So I guess I had a finger twitch. Hmm. Anyway, so. We're back on the topic of young children driving, except this one is actually really funny. Definitely. Yes. So, nine-year-old Michigan girl pulled over while driving dad to the shops from October 18th, which was yesterday. A U.S. father was charged with child abuse for allegedly making his nine-year-old daughter drive him to the shops after he spent the night drinking. What did you stop me for? I was driving good, the girl asked, mm -hmm. stunned police officers who pulled the pair over. The, <laughs> the Detroit Free Press said. The youngster was using a booster seat behind the steering wheel of her father's full-sized panel van. Wow. I'm impressed. Oh, it's a sweet-looking panel van, too. She was doing fine, Detective. Lieutenant Robert Grant acknowledged, who told the paper she was a very sweet, intelligent little girl. The free press did not name the 39-year-old father to protect his daughter's identity. The incident occurred on the afternoon of October 8th in Brownstown Charter Township, southwest of Detroit. A witness who saw the girl climb into the driver's seat and pull the van out of a gas station called police and then followed it until officers arrived. Nosy people. <laughs> The father, who is separated from the child's mother, had custody of his daughter for the weekend, Detective Grant told the paper. The girl told officers her father had been drinking whiskey all night, the paper said. Detective Grant told the free press the su suspect was argumentative and told police, police even, it was his right to teach his daughter how to drive. He subsequently refused to take a breath test and was charged with second-degree child abuse and fourth-degree child abuse. He was also charged with being a habitual offender stemming from previous felony convictions involving robbery and illegal firearm possession. He was arraigned on October 10th and forbidden from having contact with the girl who was picked up from the police station by her grandfather. Wayne County Child Protective Services is also investigating the case, Grant told the paper. So, yeah. Hmm. I like the fact that they talk about they, they, they've they kept her identity out, which if she's that sassy to a police officer, what the hell is stopping her from going to school and saying, hey, did you hear about the news story? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, you know, having her go on YouTube and going, yeah, I was doing fine. What the hell was that problem? Like, oh my god, those officers are just such meanies. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you know, they have appendages growing out of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh, a food one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay! Yay! I get this one. Okay, woman who assaulted husband by pelting him with cupcakes is charged on October 17. Sweet treats turned sour for a Chicago, yeah, for a Chicago woman when she was charged with assault after allegedly pelting her husband with cupcakes. Uh, Arturo Montescoa? Yeah. 
That's a nice name. Uh, 56 called police after his wife, Dawn. Yeah. 60 began to <laughs> hit him during an argument at their home late Saturday, the Chicago Sun-Times reported. The verbal... Yeah, verbal. <laughs> verbal argument turned violent when Dawn reached for a box of the bakery items and began throwing them at her husband one by one, according to the Chicago Tribune. Arturo, yeah, said he was in fear of his wife and he wanted her arrested after police arrived at his home and found his head and shirt smeared with cupcake icing and crumbs. Police said in a report of the incident that Dawn yeah, had admitted the cupcake assault when questioned. She faced Cook County Circuit Judge Adam D. Bourgeois, I don't know, Junior, on Sunday morning and he ordered electronic monitoring and set her bail at $10,000. She was charged with a misdemeanor count of domestic battery. Ha! <laughs> okay, were, okay. Hang on. They were cooked. They weren't batter anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First, okay. Yeah, that one. And then there's also, um, she faced Cook County. <laughs> <laughs> and what was his problem, seriously? I mean, unless she couldn't cook the crap, like me. And the cupcakes ended up really hard. You know, ooh, I got hit by a cupcake. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I like that it, he was in fear. It's a flippin' cupcake, dude! Chill out! Unless she had, like, a serious throwing arm. Like, 90 mile per hour could suck those things. Especially if they had, like, the tinfoil cupcake um, patties. You know, the paper thing on the bottom. <laughs> that thing could then be, be Then it could be used like a ninja stuff. <laughs> ninja cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, we need know. sponsors. I don't, we... Although, I don't know who would sponsor us, except for, like, every, like... Sugar, like, you know, Snickers. <laughs> anything sweet. Snickers, <laughs> definitely. Some cupcake companies. <laughs> oh, dear. I think in that county they need to have Cupcake Throwing Day in honor of this woman. I agree. Mm-hmm. And really, $10,000 for throwing cupcakes at someone? I mean, okay. If that's the case, then. Every single one of us needs to be arrested because I know that I've gotten into a, quote, kind of food fight with at least almost all of my friends, at least once. I think So the, I need to be arrested on charges for throwing grapes at people. I think the biggest thing I've ever thrown at my husband is a pea. And that was only because he threw it at me first. Wait, wait, as in, like, the food? or yeah, you know, the little green round objects. Oh, okay. Don't be disgusting. <laughs> I was double checking for the sake of our audience. Who may not just sort of know any better. But yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know the people that listen to the show. <laughs> Hi, Russell. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hi, Janie. <laughs> Hi, Wolf. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, John. And you know every single one of them thought, wait, did she throw a P at him or throw a P at him? And they're thinking, hang on, she's a girl, isn't she? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Save it up for a little while and then, you know, pressure wash. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh, God. Ew. I love you, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're all eating. <laughs> no, what's even better is, you know, I, I love doing this radio show because I get to roll in the success of knowing that all the things that I say, just like our time, ironically enough, um, people are listening to and I get to put all sorts of really Awesome mental pictures into your heads. <laughs> <laughs> the power. <laughs> the power of 
Nein. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness.